Hello, my name is Katherine Davis, and I'm honored to discuss our recently published manuscript in the Journal of the American College of Surgeons. The introduction of more effective chemotherapy has led to increased utilization of neoadjuvant therapy for pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma. The aim of the study was to assess the evolving use of neoadjuvant therapy in pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma in patients undergoing pancreatoduodenectomy and to compare their outcomes with those undergoing upfront surgery. To accomplish this, the ACS NISQIP procedure targeted pancreatectomy database was queried from 2014 to 2019, and patients undergoing pancreatoduodenectomy for pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma were separated by those receiving neoadjuvant therapy versus those undergoing upfront surgery. Demographic and perioperative factors were used in multivariable analyses to determine the effect of neoadjuvant therapy on postoperative outcomes, including our composite variable optimal pancreas surgery. Man-Kendall trend tests were performed to assess the use of neoadjuvant therapy and outcomes over time. The composite variable optimal pancreas surgery is comprised of multiple variables, including serious morbidity, postoperative percutaneous drainage, reoperation, and length of stay, all of which had more favorable outcomes in the neoadjuvant therapy group. The composite variable optimal pancreas surgery was 1.43 times more likely in patients undergoing neoadjuvant therapy as compared to those undergoing upfront surgery. In 2012, the Pancreas Demonstration Project reported that the use of neoadjuvant therapy was at 13%. The use of neoadjuvant therapy increased steadily over time in our study from 24% in 2014 to 43% in 2019. This was largely due to the increase in utilization of neoadjuvant chemotherapy. Neoadjuvant chemoradiotherapy increased modestly from 13 to 15% over the study period. Additionally, the rates of vascular reconstruction increased modestly from 23 to 25% over the study period. In conclusion, neoadjuvant therapy before pancreatoduodenectomy increased more than threefold over the past decade and was associated with improved optimal operative outcomes. Thank you very much.